Video two in looking younger, living stronger, and walking back wrinkles, six science-backed strategies to do just that. So this is the second video in this series. The first video, we covered the three causes of this. So this is what we want. We want to stay looking younger. We want to walk back wrinkles. And I'm going to talk about more about how we can do that today. But what we don't want is these advanced glycation and lip oxidization end products. Now our body makes these, so we've got to stop that. And we're also consuming them. And I talked about where they are in the first video. And you've got a PDF that you can download too. And that's also linked here in the caption. So when a scientist says something is causative, that, my friends, is a big deal. So it causes many degenerative diseases. So AGEs, Alzheimer's, cognitive decline, memory loss, heart disease, diabetes, kidney disease, wrinkles, loss of skin elasticity, infertility, and a whole host of other things too. So as you can see here, we don't want the drooping eyes, we don't want the crow's feet, we don't want the dark circles and the discoloration, and we don't want this big prominent crease and the jowls going south. So these AGEs are causative in that. And another thing that I spoke about in the first video, which is also linked below, we want to trigger, and I'll talk about that over the next videos, this enzyme genetically called telomerase. So telomerase will elongate your telomeres and walk back biological aging. But for most people, it's shortening. And this is what they're showing in clinical trials. And in clinical trials, they've shown now that in 12 months, you can significantly increase your telomere length. There's a whole host of strategies that you can use to do that. But the big things that you got to take off the table is this oxidative stress from these ALEs, AG, AGEs, stress, you know, all the poor lifestyle choices that we make, the chronic inflammation. That's what I'll talk about how to do today. Lower that straight from the get-go. Hormonal imbalances, chemicals, air pollution. So basically, for a lot of people, unfortunately, they – are just in a physiology where their hormones are imbalanced, we become estrogen dominant, and we don't feel good, we've got brain fog, and the system says, dude, that's what's supposed to happen as you age. Yeah, nah, that's not supposed to happen as you age. Look, I'm 53 in two months, and I've walked back wrinkles, and I feel good. So when you've got imbalanced hormones driven by a lot of, a lot of things, you're going to have some mental issues like anxiety, depression, libido is going to tank, fatigue, or cognition, or memory. So your earning potential starts to tank, and your body doesn't look too good, you don't perform in the bedroom too well at all. And yeah, we want to shift away from that physiology to this, and we can do that. So basically, these telomeres that we need to lengthen, we need to trigger telomerase to elongate these telomeres, and we can do that. So there's a few strategies here, but I'll talk about them as we progress. However, these AGEs, advanced glycation and lip oxidization end products, they're causing a whole host of shit that our body can't deal with. So ooh, hormone imbalance, energy comes down, brain fog. We've got all of these deleterious physiological states that we exist in and we think that it's normal. My friends, it isn't normal. So fertility tanks, we, we've got some really poor health outcomes. So think about it like this. If we've got a lifetime load of high AGEs, whether that's in our food or whether that's because our blood sugar is a bit too high, not optimal, then we're going to age faster. And quite simply, it's going to start to show up as accelerated aging in our skin. So we can have a healthy glow if we do things right. And that's the point. So... I also talked about in the first video some blood labs, and that's absolutely huge because what you don't measure, you don't know. So homocysteine is a pretty critical one because it's going to cause the same deleterious issues as AGEs and ALEs will cause. So when they actually measure, if at all, because they very rarely measure homocysteine in a blood lab, and yours is 14.5 and below – which is like here, they'll say you're good, send you on your way, but you, you've got all of these issues starting to show up. So cardiovascular, heart attack and stroke, then you've got epilepsy, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, then your hearing and your eyesight tanks, reproductive system, your endocrine system, so hormonal imbalances, so skeletal system, your muscles and your bone, 
and your kidneys don't function too well at all. And to make matters worse, you homocysteine causes a buildup of plaque in your arteries, and I'll blame red meat. And it also causes lesions in your arteries there. So we don't want it here and we don't want it there. We want it eight and below. So I talked about that in the previous video. So these AGEs, they're pretty fucking terrible, my friends. So they've also shown that when you've got insulin resistance, and a lot of people do have insulin resistance, it's going to cause a lot of these AGEs to build up and it's going to tank your testosterone even in non-diabetic men. So look at your brain here. We've got a healthy brain here. looks pretty good. And look at this diseased brain. Is that what you want? I'm sure you don't want that. And we're going to look really old. It's going to tank our endocrine system, especially our sex hormone production. And here's the three big causes. So dysglycemia. And I talked about what that should be in the previous video. And it's in our food supply. And we can also have a load in ferritin, which also non-enzymatically causes this advanced glycation to occur in our body. So optimal, you can get this checked. And I mentioned how you can do that in the first video by doing a hemoglobin A1C. And optimal is between four and five. So when it's here, you've got accelerated aging and we don't want that. And they... The problem with these AGEs is they, whether it's the formation of endogenous, which is elevations in blood glucose, or dietary uptake of these AGEs, it activates several inflammatory signaling pathways in your body. So the first tool that we can use to walk that back is to understand this. In 2018, I learned all about what's called the omega-6 to 3 ratio, and the problem is we are at unbalance. Way too much omega-6 and too little, omega-3, so we need to get it back to balance. So when it's unbalanced, and for a lot of people it is, and I'll show you how to fix this and also test for it, when it's unbalanced, that is, you've got changed gene expression, which isn't a good thing, then you're wasting all of your energy doing these two jobs here. So you're making these pro-inflammatory eicosanoids and pro-inflammatory cytokines, and that triggers low-grade inflammation, which isn't good. So inflammation is going to trigger the creation of these AGEs and ALEs to make matters worse. Number five, we've got serotonin depletion. So there goes your happy brain. And serotonin is enzymatically converted into melatonin. So there goes your sleep. And we've also got increased cortisol production, which isn't cool. And then number seven here, it basically slows down your metabolism because you've got decreased fluidity of every single cell in your body. And number eight here, you've got different... It changes the structure of receptors, enzyme transporters, and ion channels, so your brain doesn't work very sharp. And then you've also got alterations in serotonin and the dopaminergic systems in your brain, so it's not helpful at all. Now, there's a lot of research behind omega-6 and omega-3. I learned this from Dr. James Antonio back in 2018 when I first started piecing all this together. And what I found was when I started to look at the scientific literature, and this has been worked out since the 1970s, so we've known about this for quite some time. So there, my friends, is your first clue. As it says here on this scientific paper, we need a ratio of one to one, which is, again, balance. But with the Western diet, we've got a massive intake of omega-6 and a very low of omega-3, so we get unbalanced. Generally, you've got about 20 to 1 ratio or even higher than that. Now, here are the health consequences of that. They, this promotes, when you've got this unbalance, the pathogenesis of many diseases, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, inflammatory, autoimmune disease. So as you can see there, it's not helpful. A ratio of 4 to 1 was associated with associated with a 70% decrease in total mortality, 2.5 to 1 reduced rectal cell proliferation in patients with colorectal cancer, whereas a 4 to 1 ratio had no effect on that cancer. So that's about a 4 to 1 ratio there. So we want to get it over here. A ratio of 2 or 3 to 1 suppressed inflammation in patients with arthritis and a 5 to 1 ratio with asthma. However, just even a 10 to 1 ratio had adverse consequences. And it's really simple. Over about 12 weeks, you can get it from here to there. And we can do this. Now, another added bonus, there's a lot of bonuses with getting this right. These omega-3s, they direct action on increasing telomere by 
triggering genetically more telomerase activity. So as we now know, when we elongate the telomeres, it walks back biological aging. So another big benefit is when it comes to testosterone production, you've got these, the, the omega-6 and the omega-3 turns into endocannabinoids. Now the omega-6 turns into an endocannabinoid called AEA, arachidonyl ethanolamine. Now, when you've got a lot of omega-6, you've got hyperactivity of the endocannabinoid system, so you've got way too much AEA. Now, the, the issue with that is the AEA decreases transcription levels of the gonadotropin-releasing hormone system, so that's going to lower your testosterone. Hmm. As, a con as a consequence, testosterone levels decrease and estrogen production increases, so certainly not helpful. So that's problem number one with sex hormone production. So too much omega-6 isn't good for sex hormone production. We still need it. We just got to get it back to balance. Now, again, when it's unbalanced, these endocannabinoids, AEA, arachidonyl ethanolamine here, it triggers receptors, the CB1 receptors in the hypothalamus, limbic forebrain, to induce appetite and stimulate food intake. So if you get a lot of cravings, look at the problem there. So again, we need to take it away from here and get it back over here. So all of these cravings and our testosterone starts to normalize. Now, another added bonus, this study was done with young, healthy men and was all about the ratio of these fats over 12 weeks. And they showed when you've got way too much of a omega-6, you've got lower testicular volume with the highest intake of omega-6. So this is a study right here, it's all about testicular volume and size. So when you get back to balance, it increases testicular volume. When you start to move away from balance, it decreases testicular volume. So that's not helpful at all. And what about putting on muscle and fat loss? Can they help with that when we get it back to balance? Absolutely. It's a lot of research now being conducted by a lot of pretty smart PhDs. So here's study number one, increase muscle protein synthesis. Number two, this one was done by Dr. Chris McGlory, PhD. And I have a little excerpt from an interview that he did with Dr. Rhonda Patrick. And Dr. Rhonda is an expert with these amigas. So listen to this little excerpt from that podcast. Smith, we found that in the Omega-3 group, there was higher rates of protein synthesis, in it, uh, which, would, which would kind of, again, corroborate the mechanisms of action of omega-3s which is to enhance the presynthetic response to daily protein feeding. So that's pretty cool. Increased the muscle protein synthesis. But what about fat loss? Well, here's Dr. James Donickel Antonio speaking about the benefits when we get the, um, the omega-3s back up in the butter zone, which is over here. So this is all about fat loss. And so the reason why omega-3s are so important is you have this overall fat burning machinery in your liver, which is called beta oxidation. And the long chain omega-3s, EPA and DHA, turn on, turn on the genes to make you a better fat burner. So your beta oxidation in the liver goes up. So just sitting, me and you here, we're gonna be burning 20% better our beta oxidation when we're consuming three to four grams of long chain omega-3s per day. During exercise, your beta oxidation goes up by 30% if you're consuming that amount of long chain omega-3s. So you're a better fat burner already by getting those healthy marine fats from like wild salmon. Then you, then you actually consume ALA, which is a ketogenic substrate. And so it's really important to integrate omega-3s because you're getting ketogenic substrates, um, but you're also a better fat burning machine. Well, that's helpful. So 20% at rest, burning body fat and 30% during exercise and we're packing on the muscle. So that's why I don't count calories. When you, when you start to stack the odds in your favor, your health comes back, your testosterone comes back, you get your hormones balanced again and everything becomes a lot easier. And that's the point. And guess what? We're not done because these omega-3s, I'll talk about this in a moment. This is how you make testosterone. But after three months, 12 weeks of supplementation, getting it back to balance, they saw a massive increase in antioxidant enzymes, superoxide dismutase, glutathione. All right. So basically how you enhance testosterone production in men is by increasing LH, which is the precursor, right? And that's what's, and as I mentioned on this study here, right here, that's exactly what that's going to facilitate. So that's going to start to happen. 
And then you also have to increase healthy levels of cholesterol to the testes. And I mentioned in the first video on this, when you've got dysglycemia, oxidative stress, you have oxidized cholesterol, and that's really bad. You can't really do much with it. And that's what causes the plaque to build up in your arteries there. And then you have to reduce oxidative stress and lipid peroxidization. And that's what these omegas do because it reduces oxidative stress and inflammation. And then you need to enhance the activity of the antioxidant enzymes. And that's exactly what they're doing is increasing the amount of the enzymes to make glutathione and superoxide dismutase. And then we also need to normalize blood glucose. And that's what I spoke about on the first video there. Then we can increase blood flow and that increases testicular weight and size and recycles testosterone receptors. So all glutathione, as I spoke about in the first video there, when we get it back at optimal levels, and not too many people do have optimal levels, this is the problem with low glutathione there. And these amigas, they're helping increase glutathione. So you really take that home. So neuro and brain, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's, ALS, migraines, multiple sclerosis, autism, ADHD, ADD, bipolar depression, cardiovascular, atherosclerosis, heart disease, angina, erectile dysfunction, hypertension, stroke. And we got the old thyroid and pancreas says so a hyper and hypo, which isn't good. And you've got immune, I can go back here, immune and cancer. So cancer, all of those issues there, lupus, viral infections, asthma, acne, Lyme, allergies, gingivitis, rheumatoid arthritis, and all this crap here, chronic fatigue, ob chronic obstructory pulmonary disease like asthma. We've got arthritis, accelerated aging, well, of course, inflammatory skin conditions, well, of course, then you've got cystic fibrosis, gout, fertility, issues with your eyesight and hearing. So all these strategies that I'm giving you over the course of this, these videos, they're just one millimeter shift. So I want to try and do a stack the odds in your favor. So think about it like this. The older you get, you're going to start to walk back and reverse biological aging. Epigenetic changes are going on and you're just getting stronger and you're aging like fine wine. Now, when I spoke to Dr. Ken Berry, one thing really struck a note and shook me to the core is when Dr. Ken said this to me. Absolutely. It's often too late by the time yeah. you've, you've become financially comfortable. Yeah. Very often you've done so much damage to every tiny artery in your body yeah. Yeah. that you're now stuck with permanent erectile dysfunction or permanent forgetfulness or permanent insomnia, permanent shortness of breath, chest pain right? Yeah. Gut issues. <clears throat> yeah. You've done so much damage. Some of it can't be taken back. And yeah. that that's yeah. why I'm so active on social media, constantly reaching out and trying to help people. Because once it's too late, you might regain a little bit of that function, but it's never going to be like it once was. And it's never going to be like it could have been. Yeah. And that's very yeah. sad if you think about it, that somebody's basically handicapped for the rest of their life physically or mentally or emotionally because of bad dietary decisions that they made for the first few decades of their life that they didn't realize were bad decisions because they had never been trained properly. And that's what I'm trying to do in this video series is coach you to make these one millimeter shifts to get serious. Because if you do nothing, all of these health consequences will show up and you're going to have accelerated aging. So these AGEs, the glucose, everything that I've mentioned in the first video and this video, we need to make these changes and get serious because if we do nothing, we're in a lot of trouble. So basically what we've covered in the first video is the framework. So it's linked below and I've got a PDF that you can download to get all of that right. And there's only one step that you need to take here on this video and I'll show you exactly what to do in a moment. And I was going to do the Hunter method and the functional method on this video, but I just want to make them shorter and more concise. So I'll do a third video here and the fourth video here will be all about the building materials. So your body needs building materials like collagen. And we also have to trigger the whole cascade of collagen synthesis. So unfortunately for a lot of people, most people, they just think this is just how it is. This is how I age. This is, this is what, you know, they tell us is going to happen. Do you really believe that in your heart? Or can we walk back biological aging if we do things right and make these one millimeter shifts to get back into our prime? Well, I believe we can, but we're only as good as our team. And that's why I work with experts like Dr. J, functional nutritionists, functional doctors, and I've done my certificate in functional nutrition. 
So when we start to put together a plan for people, so if you want to book a call with me and I'll show you what that's like, there's an information below. We look at your exposome, your genome, your microbiome, your food sensitivity to get you back to health in a clear time bound path with the exact steps that you need to take to get to that place. So let's just quickly have a look at how to get this tested, the Omega Index and what to do next. So the link below that will take you to this page here, you just buy this Omega basic test there. And what that's gonna show you is, I'll just go to a slide that's got that data on it right here. It's gonna show you where you are here and they'll give you a plan to get back here in about 12 weeks and you retest in 12 weeks. And that's just going to, as I mentioned there, have all of these benefits. It's gonna take the inflammation out of your body, it's also going to start to elongate your telomeres by triggering telomerase, the, the enzyme there. And it's also going to start to increase testosterone production. It's also going to do this, increase testicular size, help you drop body fat back on the muscle. So there's a lot of benefits to getting this right. And it's, it's just simple steps that take a bit of time. And that's the point. Everybody, unfortunately, is trained by the system here's a magic pill, take this magic pill and you'll be cured. It doesn't work like that. Like I've worked with functional doctors, it takes time to fix all of these issues to get back to health. Your body can do it. It needs the building materials. It needs to get back to homeostatic balance with these omegas. You need to get these AGEs and ALEs out. You need to take care of that inflammation. And these omegas take care of that inflammation. So if you like these videos, drop a comment below, help me out, share this and tag a friend in it if you think it'd be benefit for them. And you can follow my channel so you get the notifications when I put out the next video. So there's going to be two more videos in this series. So I'm about peak human performance. I want to age well. I want to have a lot of energy. I want to feel good doing it. So if you're about that, that's what I'm about. And I'll see you on the next video.